Hey there, Louis Ocabellis here. Thanks for stopping by. In this video, I'm going to show you how to navigate and how to use the new share content menu in Microsoft Teams. Now, before we get into the tutorial, what exactly is the new share content menu? Well, if you're watching this video, then you know that Microsoft is constantly pushing new features into Microsoft Teams. And earlier this year in February at Microsoft Ignite, um, Microsoft announced that they would be overhauling the share content menu and would be adding a ton of new functionality to make sharing content, sharing presentations much more collaborative uh, and much more user friendly. Now, Microsoft has slowly started implementing these new features in increments. Uh, most recently, they've actually changed the share content menu uh, and repositioned it. It isn't drastically different, but again, depending on your personality, you know, perhaps you just got comfortable with using the Microsoft Teams share content menu, and now you're going to see that it has been changed. So we'll go into that. We'll have a quick look at it. And we're also going to look at a few new features with respect to actually presenting content in Teams meetings. First, we'll look briefly at the standout mode. That allows you to actually have uh, your camera, your video feed overlay yourself on top of the content, which is pretty handy. Again, it's all about making those meetings more interactive. Uh, and we'll also quickly look at how to annotate on top of shared content. So you can actually use a laser pointer, you can highlight content on slides, which is probably uh, a long overdue feature. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft Teams tutorials. And also check me out on Twitter and Instagram to make sure that you don't miss out on any of my new content. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now to get started with the new meeting experience, the first thing that you're going to notice is when you click on the share content button here at the top of your meeting window, the share content menu has now been relocated. So in the past, when you would click on the share content button, the share content tray would appear here on the bottom of your meeting window. And you'll notice now that Microsoft has made it a little uh, cleaner and it is this short menu. Now, just very quickly, uh, if you want to share content and you want to include audio from your computer, you wanna be sure to toggle this on. Okay, uh, and then if you come down a little bit lower under presenter mode, you'll notice now that there are two new icons. The first says content only, and the second is the new standout mode, which allows you to overlay your uh, self onto the content that you're sharing, which we'll look at in a minute. If you want to just share a screen, so if you're using dual monitors like I am, you'll have the option here to select the screen that you want to share or if perhaps you want to share just a window, uh, you can go ahead and click on the window icon and you're going to see that it's now going to bring you in a new menu here. Uh, now you can also again, initiate your whiteboard and or start a PowerPoint Live, which actually just uh, displays the content right in the meeting window. Uh, and you can see your speaking notes if you have any in your slides and you can see the participants feed as well. So that is the new share content menu. Now, the other thing that I'll point you to is in the more actions button, uh, you can see here now that you have the option of nesting the gallery at the top of the menu. So if I go ahead and click on this, it's going to dock uh, all of the meeting participants if they have their cameras on at the top of the window. So you're going to see a few more of these uh, different layouts appear in Microsoft Teams meetings over the next couple of months. Now, the next thing that I'll show you is how to actually annotate on slides that you are sharing or presenting during a Teams meeting. And to do that, I'm going to go ahead and open a document in PowerPoint Live. So I'm gonna click on my team report here. And when you're using PowerPoint Live, it's actually going to show you again, the slides directly in the meeting window. Uh, and you can permit individuals to actually toggle through your PowerPoint slides uh, if you would like by clicking on this button here. So you can see right now it's on, meaning participants can kind of move through the shared presentation on their own. And if you wanna disable that, you can go ahead and press this button and it's going to prevent them from doing that, okay? Uh, now what you'll notice here is Microsoft has added the ability to annotate, okay? So you can see uh, there's a laser pointer option there's a pen, there's a highlighter and an eraser, and I'll just go ahead and demonstrate how each of these work. So if you want to perhaps use a laser pointer to draw 
your meeting participants attention to some element of your content you can click on it and you'll see here as I kind of move my cursor around it is going to move the laser pointer now if you actually click while you're moving the laser pointer around you can actually draw around elements of your content and you'll just see that letting go of the mouse uh, made that disappear so pretty handy feature if you're giving presentations and you want to draw your meeting participants attention to some specific element of your content uh, next is the pen and if i go ahead and click on this okay i can uh, start to draw and the difference with the pen and the laser pointer is the annotation will actually stay on the screen until you actively remove it. And if you click on the pen icon again, you can adjust the uh, thickness. Okay, and you can get the little preview there and you can change the color as well. So again, you can go ahead and annotate. Um, highlighter, same idea. If you click on that, you can actually highlight content. And again, if you click on the highlighter, you can change the thickness and the color as well. I'll just change that to green. Um, and last but not least, the eraser. If you just click on the eraser, you can actually just remove annotations uh, by clicking and dragging your mouse around the annotation. So pretty handy feature and probably long overdue for giving effective presentations in Microsoft Teams. All right, now the last thing that I'm going to show you is how to use the standout mode in a Microsoft Teams meeting. Now, the first thing you'll need to do is you will need to turn on your video feed again because this feature actually takes your video feed and places you on top of the content that you're sharing. Then you wanna go ahead and click on the share content button and under presenter mode, you want to go ahead and click on the standout button. And then next you wanna select whether you're sharing your screen or a particular window. In this case, I'll just go ahead and share my PowerPoint slides directly in Microsoft PowerPoint, the desktop application. Now, when you click on the content that you want to share, you are going to notice that a new window opens up. And as you can see here, uh, I am actually just placed on top of the slide content and you'll notice that the background is also stripped out. Okay, so standout mode again is really all about simulating or replicating that in-person presentation experience by putting you right in front of the content that you're displaying so that participants can see the content and can see you at the same time without any other distractions. Now, one obvious limitation of this feature is that uh, you know, by placing your video feed on top of the shared content, there is going to be some obstruction. So again, especially if you're presenting a PowerPoint presentation, you want to be aware of this and maybe design your slides uh, so that no crucial content is obstructed by using this feature. Now that's it. In this tutorial, I showed you how to use the new Microsoft Teams meeting experience. It, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit the thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft Teams tutorials. I'm Louis Acabalas. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.